cataractcoach.com helpful suggestions for the soft nucleus. Because sometimes the soft lens can be tough to split apart. Let's watch the video here. We sped it up to three times normal speed here. Our surgeon is going to, let's see, start off with making a paracentesis. There's one. And now let's see what's next. Here's another paracentesis. So maybe going to be doing a bimanual cortex removal. So two paracentesis incisions. And filling up the eye with the blue dye. Don't know if you, know, you really need blue dye in this case. It's such a great red reflex. It's a very soft lens. But dis displacing that out with some viscoelastic. And I like those two incisions so far. Let's see the main incision. Here comes the main incision. Looks pretty good. Nick in the limbal vessels. And time for the rexus. So on a soft lens like this, my favorite technique is to prolapse it out of the capsule bag. To get it up at the iris plane, the thing is the easiest to get it away from the capsule bag. If it's a very soft lens, it's really difficult to actually split it in the capsule bag. Difficult to chop it or do a stop and chop or divide and conquer. Those are all very difficult. So oftentimes the best technique there is to do a prolapse. That's a real nice rexus, beautiful rexus. And let's see some hydro dissection here. There's part of a fluid wave. There it goes, beautiful. And now the nucleus already wants to come up. So yeah, hydro delineate, I like the idea. So this is enough prolapse. You don't have to get it fully out of the bag. This is pretty much enough. The hydro dissection, hydro delineation is really split up the nucleus now. You can see the endo nugget there in the center. Going in with the phaco probe, just use very minimal, if any, phaco energy. You're just going to actually vacuum this thing down. You should be able to carousel it into your phaco tip. And again, I want to bring it up out of the bag. Again, the video sped up here, of course. That's the easy part of this case. So that looks great. Be careful with that epinuclear shell. Bring that up. Again, try to operate iris plane. This surgeon is doing a very nice job of that. Very, very nice. So for a soft lens, that's the number one take-home message. Get that thing out of the capsule bag. Hydro dissect, hydro delineate. Get it into that pupil zone, that iris plane. That's your safe zone. Now, I, I see why we got the bimanual going on. That looks nice. It's going to give great access 360. So removing the cortex here, very nicely done. And if you need to, you can certainly switch hands to get the remaining cortex. And then clean up the capsule bag very nicely. So again, there's the hand switch. Infusion now on the right, aspirate on the left. And that's cleaned up very well. Be cautious of that poster capsule. Just doing a little capsule polishing there. That looks beautiful. It's a very nice outcome. That Rex is especially looks great. Look how it's right in the middle of those Purkinje light reflexes. This will be a beautifully centered lens here at the end. Not sure what the other little granular material is there. And yeah, maybe if you know, could you post or comment below? And now filling up the bag with some viscoelastic. And let's see the lens that goes in. Here's the lens. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens going in the capture bag. Oh, look at that Rex. It's beautiful. Just nice. Very nicely done. And we can finish up the case. So I do like the technique here. What would I change in this technique? Um, I'd make my main decision maybe a little bit different, but that's probably nitpicking. I'd make it a little bit longer tunnel length. I do like the rest of the surgery was beautiful. The rexus is dang near perfect. I do like the technique of the nucleus removal, bringing it up to the iris plane, prolapsing out of the bag. So I think this surgeon is doing a fantastic job. He specifically asked for any recommendations for improvement. I think you're doing a beautiful job here. And I'd hydrate that main incision too, but hopefully you'll do my technique of just the roof. But that lens, again, is beautifully positioned. If you have a comment to help the surgeon, please post it below. I like the work. You've done a fantastic job. That's going to be a happy patient. Thanks for watching.